everyone watching on YouTube and welcome back to Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hopes to War! Back into... Did that say this is chapter 4? Did all of the prologue stuff count as like the first three chapters? I thought this was still chapter 1. This must be actually chapter 4. My stream title is all wrong now! Because I thought this was... I thought it was like prologue, 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 and then chapter 1. But that is evidently not the case. Alas. King Wolfblade, thank you for gifting a tier one sub. Greatly appreciated. Thank you for the support. You know... Hey, got some new info. I'll fill the others in later. But for now, know that the Empire rejected the Central Church's authority. Yeah, I don't know. What, is, uh, what does that mean? What does that mean? Long story short... In layman's terms, Edelgard's picking a fight with Rhea, the Archbishop. Deserved. She claims the Central Church has forced its own self-serving doctrine upon the people of Fodlan, and that they abuse their authority by meddling in other governments and profiting off their position. Long story short, Edelgard says she won't stand for it anymore. Mm. Huh. Well, regardless of whether that's all true, it's got nothing to do with the Alliance, right? Mm. I wouldn't say that. The Central Church is headquartered at Garrig Mach. And the fastest way to get there is straight through Alliance territory. So far, the Empire hasn't tried to negotiate with us at all, which means they plan to force their way through here. Edelgard might be hoping she can vanquish both the Alliance and the Kingdom in one go and rebuild Fodlin from the ground up. More, but yo, retweet more power to her? Slay, Queen Slay, etc, etc, girl, girl boss, gatekeep, whatever the kids say these days? I don't know, I'm old. Deva Ventus, thank you for subbing with Prime, greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. The nerf. We're not gonna just roll over. If they want to fight, we've got no choice but to give it to them. Alright, good talk, good talk. A facility can be expanded, you say. Hello there. Well, how'd it go? How did it go? Why did I this is not the and facility the expansion. Results. You're the Allow facility expansion. With any matters regarding the facilities. Go ahead and level this up once. We're gonna want to do that long term. Unlock all of these other possibilities. I do love the level up system in this game. Dude, I love this game. Let's I'm very glad to be playing this game again and that people wanted to see it again. It's a good time. We only have a support between Sonya and Claude, it looks like. So let's do it! Hey, Claude. Looks like you had another one of those meetings. You finally finished? For today, yeah. But we're picking up right where we left off tomorrow. <sighs> That's a lot of talking. What could possibly call for that much discussion? Well, first, we need to settle on a direction for the Alliance. And then come all the pesky little details. All responsibilities need to be doled out fairly, but each territory has different resources and different circumstances, you know? So it's tricky to figure out what's really fair. There's no one answer that works across the board. But you're their leader. Can't you just make a bunch of decisions and get it over with? No can do, I'm afraid. I may be the leader, but I'm still just one of the five great lords. Sure, I may be the idea man, but I don't have the authority to enforce anything on my own. On top of all that, most nobles are experts at focusing on what's good for their own territory instead of what would benefit the Alliance as a whole. When priorities clash, the debates just go around and around in endless circles. Makes me wonder if we'll ever reach a consensus on anything. That's democracy, baby! Hold on. Do you really think you'll win the war like this? You'll always be on the defensive if you can't act decisively. I hear you, believe me. The process works much better in times of peace. But since we're at war, it's frustrating to say the least. What's worse is that it's near impossible to get a read on the situation. I don't have the foggiest idea how we're going to overcome this. Say, mind if I pick your brain? What would you do in my shoes? I would depose the other four lords and name myself King of the Alliance. What, me? Well, I guess I'd... Give him the old b bam Skirt round them with a nice whoosh? That sounds like a Claude idea. You gotta just give him a nice whoosh. Deal with him that way. Uh-huh. Whoosh. Yeah, care to spell that one out for me? I'm sorry, Claude. I can't be any more specific than that. I, I don't... Like, come on, man. It's pretty straightforward. What I'm saying is, why not just get rid of all the talking? You mean, get rid of the Alliance's council altogether? That's not what I thought that dialogue option was leading to, but it is what I would do. Exactly. 
If you give yourself more authority, then it won't take as long to make decisions. It's occurring to me now that this is what Palpatine did in Star Wars, isn't it? <laughs> I am the Senate! It worked really well for him for like 20 years or something, just saying. It doesn't even have to be permanent. You could go back to the old way once things are peaceful again. Oh, like, um, martial law. Declare martial law because things are so, like... But that, isn't that the purpose of martial law? The purpose of martial law is that, like, if things are looking really bad and you can't afford to go through red tape and all, you declare martial law to fix the issue, whatever it is, like a war or something, and then you go back to full-on democracy when time isn't of the essence as much? I think that's, like, that's the concept behind martial law, right? I might not know what martial law is. But I guess that wouldn't go over too well with the other nobles, huh? We'll just declare martial law and then get rid of them. Actually, I think you're onto something. Can't say it hasn't crossed my mind before. If folks at the round table just keep looking out for their own territory's interests, we'll be in a world of hurt if the Alliance is ever invaded. I just wish they could see that. Whoa, are you seriously considering it, Claude? Of course. Unfortunately, the possibility of it actually happening right now is basically zero. But you've given me a lot to chew on. Let's do this again sometime. Just say the word. Y'all think about it. Hey, support level C, let's go. I honestly thought we would have had more supports than that, but that works fine. Gaining support points will deepen bonds between allies and raise their support level. Oh, don't show me the Black Eagles characters. Now I really wish I was playing Black Eagles. Higher support level will lead to beneficial effects when assigning that unit as your adjutant. Adjutant will fill, fill yada, yada, yada. Shared up ability to level one, level two, level three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you point is is it's useful hey really quickly do we have another sparring match or do we just have the no we don't we just have the chapter finale defense of the great bridge of murden all right make sure you're ready do, do, do. i have stream on my tv because i'm home alone so don't have to watch on your phone yo pog and or champion that's pretty cash money Hello, training instructor. I have another thing of training available, and I have more units to select. Right, let's get Hilda and Claude in here. Why not? That works. I don't think Sonia really needs the training right now. I'll be making sure you maintain proper form, so go ahead and train your hardest. It makes me nervous when people stare at me. I mean... Uh... Thank you. I didn't mean to say that entire sentence. I just meant to say thanks. Look at all that magic. All right, good gains. Yo, Hilda, Hilda, Hilda. The heck is Brawler's ploy? Wild abandoned? Now that sounds like Hilda. Oh, Leone and Raphael have a support conversation. Two of my favorite characters. I can't wait to hear... Oh, wait, no. I thought it said it was Leone and Raphael. Oh, they don't have any combos until B and A, but also Marianne and Lysithia have a conversation now. And this is the only conversation... Really? Marianne and Lysithia only have one conversation through the entire game? Okay. As I told you before, I do not have a crest. Why do you insist on hiding it? It can only mean your crest is somehow... Please stop. What's going on here? Lysithia. What were you saying about crests? Go on. I study them every day without fail, so this is extremely relevant to my interests. I do hope you have proof of your theory, though. Spewing out unfounded platitudes will just lead to consequences you definitely don't want. I might not look it, but I'm a general in this army. Ah, well, we were just finishing our conversation. Now, if you'll excuse me. Um, thank you, Lysithia. Think nothing of it. I stepped in of my own accord. <sighs> You appear to hold a secret or two regarding crests. Um, well, no need to answer. We all have things we prefer to keep hidden. <sighs> S 
Still, your situation hits rather close to home for me. Perhaps too close. What? So if you ever need assistance, don't hesitate to ask. We secret keepers need to hold strong with each other after all. <clears throat> oh, and I'm not saying this because I pity you, but you clearly find your secret painful. In light of this, maybe I've been a bit too harsh on you in the past. Oh no, you haven't been harsh at all. I'm merely envious of how strong and level-headed you always appear to be. I never would have guessed you hold a closely guarded secret just as I do. I'm not gonna tell you if that's what you're after. Boy, howdy, you would not believe the secret this chick is keeping. Yes, I suspected as much. Still, perhaps you would be willing to hear mine one day? I feel like being around you gives me the courage to finally set it free. I would be happy to hear you out, and also to help rectify the situation if possible. I know quite a bit about Crest's scholarship. That fool talking to you earlier couldn't hold a candle to me. Thank you, Lysithia. I already feel a little bit braver. I'm offering you the full might of my assistance. I hope you can do better than a little. Um, I mean a lot. I know I'm going to feel a lot braver. Lysithia hates the word little, little words. I hate it too because I can't pronounce it properly most of the time for some reason. All right, I got two more time uses here. Hello, chore master, master of the chores. I don't know. Let's um, let's let's care for the horsies. Ugh, I guess with Lorenz and Ignatz. Why am I sweeping the dirt? Who does this? I am confident you'll be impressed with my efforts. Doubt it. Sure, I'll help. What is with Ignatz's hair? Give me that renown. I got a sunflower. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna organize some of these documents. And I'll make Shamir do it with me. Man, these are really dusty. Very well. I will join you. I always get the job done. And I'm thorough. Nice! We all must do our fair share. I think that's me and Lysithia that just got that. Sure enough. Oh, hello there. Are you doing some research? Yeah, I was just looking through records of past battles. Figure I'll probably run into some similar situations. That's admirable of you. I thought that someone with a mercenary background would be a little more reckless with their fighting. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. That sounded a bit rude, didn't it? No, you're right. My fighting style was pretty loose when I was a mercenary. Actually, I can't say it's really changed that much. I've got more responsibility now, so I've had to adjust some. Any mistakes I make would only cause problems for everyone else, right? Huh. You're much more studious than I thought. I can see why Claude trusts you so much. You really think I'm held in such high regard? That's what I've heard, at least. It's very impressive, especially since you're so young. Thanks, Lysithia. And the same goes for you, too. For a kid, you're amazing at what you do. Excuse me? Who is a kid? Huh? Well, you are. I must ask that you refrain from treating me like a child. Uh, I wasn't trying to... You said, and I quote, for a kid. I'm aware that people often treat me like a child, but to think you'd call me one directly to my face! Shut up, kid! I work harder and contribute more to this army than anyone else here. Mm, debatable. It is truly vexing that something as inconsequential as my age can dictate how people treat me. Uh, I'm sorry. I had no idea you hated being treated like a kid that much. <sighs> this is not a matter of like or dislike. I think it might be. My belief is that those who fight alongside each other should treat one another as equals. Yeah, that's what I meant. Well, yeah. 
I thought I was complimenting you as an equal, obviously. Then there is no need for any qualifying language. You should compliment me as you would anyone else. Try harder. That's how I compliment people. Hold on, didn't you tell me I was impressive for being so young? Doesn't that mean you assessed me based on my age too? Get wrecked! Me saying you're impressive in spite of your age is completely different than you saying I'm pretty good for a weak little baby. Not what I said? Pretty sure I didn't phrase it like that. But it's what you meant. Oh, I should have never complimented you. <sighs> you know, an adult wouldn't get all stubborn and combative like this. <laughs> I am not being combative. I'm simply having a normal conversation with you. Is that a problem? What about this is normal to you? <laughs> All I'm saying is you look like such a kid. I thought you might have been a squid for a second there. Anyways, moving on. Lucifer, thank you for subbing at tier one for 12 months, a full year. Greatly appreciated. Thank you for the support. Excited to see you playing Three Hopes again. Didn't think you'd do it so quick after I suggested. Yeah, it was actually, uh, I think you and a couple other people in chat said that you would want to see this again. And that is the main reason this is happening right now is because when people said that, I was like, really? People want to see more Three Hopes? I'll play Three Hopes again. And thus, here we are. Do you think you'll end up streaming a Versus again at any point? Watching Digimon World, it's equally painful and funny to watch people miss things I remember from a game addiction two decades ago. It do be that way sometimes. I do want to do more Versus on the channel. Uh, the main roadblock to doing more Versus on the channel is my friends not doing Versus with me because they're lazy but uh, and refuse to make time for it. Because I would love to be doing more of them. RTK and I actually finished recording our Mega Man Battle Network 6 versus not long ago, and that will be going to YouTube very shortly. Make sure you're ready. Should be happening sometime this month. We haven't gotten around to getting a layout and getting to work on rendering everything. He and I have both been very busy. I don't think there's anything else I need to do in this chapter. I think we can just finish this chapter out and go to the next one, so let's do it. They just don't want to keep losing to you. Spoiler alerts for uh, older verses. I'm pretty sure I lost the only verses that I did to Slyro. Didn't he win that one? And then, uh, what was the other one? RTK beat me in one of the Mega Man verses we did. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not unbeatable. I am a bit of a gamer, though, I gotta admit. The Great Bridge of Mirrodin. Keep two save files. RCK beat you in Network 3 because you quit? Uh, hey, me forfeiting is a win for him. Sir, Viscount Phlegathon has sent an urgent appeal to reinforce the front lines on the Great Bridge. Do not pronounce the S. It's Viscount. Got it. Got it. Got it. Understood. Did you see how badly this scene was lagging despite how long the loading screen took? Acheron again? How many times does that make it today? Only the fourth. He sent eight requests yesterday. I'll call that an improvement then. Thanks. Just tell him, message received, keep your chin up, and good luck out there. Yes, sir. What's going on at the Great Bridge, buddy? Doesn't sound like things are going so good. We'll be able to hold the bridge, right? Mega Man sounds interesting. Tried playing two or three. Are, are, I, have, I don't play the old school Mega Man. If you're talking about like the original Mega Man games, no, I don't like the original like 2D side-scrolling Mega Man. It's not for me. I play Mega Man Battle Network and Mega Man Star Force. RTK and I did verses of the Battle Network games because we both really love Battle Network. I wish I could say for sure, but I honestly have no idea. While we've been taking our sweet time getting situated, the enemy's been strengthening their position. Claude, we are nearing the breaking point. My father has sent an urgent request for reinforcements. Oh boy. Things must be getting really dire if Count Gloucester has sent word as well. Then surely it's time for us to depart. We just need to protect the bridge, right? Yes. If it falls into the Empire's hands, there will be no keeping the war out of Alliance territory. I'd hate to see innocent towns and villages getting caught in the fighting. With the way things are going, though, 
I think we should be ready to abandon the bridge if necessary. If we go in determined to hold it at any cost, we could end up sacrificing a lot of lives in a battle we have no hope of winning. If worse comes to worse, it'll be up to us to evacuate as many of our soldiers as we can. The war with the Empire won't end with the coming battle, so I want to keep our losses to the absolute minimum. If the Great Bridge of Murden falls, then Garrig Mach will be in jeopardy too. That's true. And since Edelgard is set on toppling the Central Church, it probably won't end well for them. What are you going to do, Shamir? Will you return to aid the monastery? No. I have repaid my debt to Rena. I no longer have any ties to the Knights of Saros. All right. Then let's adjourn this war council and get moving. Yeah! Let's do this! For the sake of the Alliance, don't hold anything back. I'm counting on each and every one of you. Characters' voices sound a little low? Interesting. My audio settings are the same as the other day. Not clown glaucoma. We have to save him. Choosing strategies. For the main quest of each chapter, you'll be able to select strategies before battle. There are many types of strategies. Some determine unit positions at the start of battle, and some activate during battle to provide an advantage. To select a strategy, you need strategy resources, which can be acquired by capturing regions on war map, yada yada. This is pretty cool. Persuade Linhart to join us. Even if we don't use Linhart, we should still recruit him for the sake of recruiting him, because he's Linhart. Slightly weaken the enemy for a period of time by demoralizing them at start of battle. Begin the battle with some enemy and ally position switched. Oh. Intriguing. Call in guards. Decrease the durability of all enemy strongholds at the beginning of battle. 